Well, a lot of you have been asking questions about the spider mites, and uh, most of the symptoms that you guys have been showing are caused by the spider mites. So this is just to demonstrate to you how you can manage a spider mite infestation on your garden next. So the symptom that I'm showing you is a typical symptom by spider mites. So whenever you see your garden next or your tomato showing this particular symptoms it tells you that your plant is infested by spider mites so one one thing that you need to look out for look at the the web the webs that you find this should tell you that it is spider mite and then look closely those pink small tiny uh, organisms that you find there are the spider mites so uh, because they also produce web like the spider that is why we we, we, we they also uh, uh, bear the name of the spider mites and so mites are very tiny they are not insects and so if anybody asks you to spray with an insecticide that person is deceiving you unless that particular insecticide is a broad spectrum or the target pest is mite so very tiny on the surface if you can see you, you find them moving and then mostly under under the the leaves you also find them on it look at it look at the webs the webs you can see them in the web as well and then they moving in the web so i'm going to show you how you can manage them uh, you see the plant is severely infested all oh, this one when you allow if you don't control they will destroy the plant because the plant need the leaves to to uh, produce the food for it to grow and so if they are destroying the leaves and then the pigment there's no way the plant will produce food for its growth and so spider mite you can easily use a soapy water solution to blow them off and so i will show you how you can prepare the solution and then use them so i have liquid soap here uh, mostly the local soap, the one that we call alatasamina, is effective. And so you can use alatasamina, but if you don't have alatasamina, just prepare any soapy solution, the neem leaf, and then you can just spray. But what you need to do is that you spray at least, this one is severely infested. So you need to spray at least twice a week and then spray regularly and you'll be able to. So yes you have to get your container this is what i'm going to use to spray uh, in this is just one liter one liter container so you can just measure at least five mil five mil of the the soup the the soapy water or the liquid soup and then you mix it with water to spray so i'm going to demonstrate to you how you can spray it Okay, so this is how it is. I'm going to just measure the five mil, five mil. But before that, make sure you fill your container with the water. 5 mil or 10 mil, you can measure 5 mil or 10 mil, which is okay. So the 10 mil will also be.
You shake it thoroughly when you put make sure you shake it initially don't fill it to the brim so that after shaking it and then it mix very well then you can top it to the one liter mat so make sure it mix it mixes very well and then if it mixes very well as you can see this one yes it's okay so it is good to go. Now, what you have to do is that look at the the, the mites on it. So, what most people do is that when they are spraying, they don't spray to cover the surface. Or they just apply it on the surface and then ignore those hiding under. So, all that you need to do is that you just they will not disturb you. So, just spray. When you spray the surface, once you are into home gardening, home gardening, you can you don't have so many plants, you have some few of them. So you spray the surface and then the under. Make sure it covers. It doesn't matter the quantity of water or the solution that you use. Make sure you spray. If you can also visit any agro shop and then get 